Hello everyone, welcome to session 8. Uh, before I start, I request you to click on the notifications icon, uh, the, the subscribes icon uh, right so that you get the notifications of any new activity I work on. So today we are going to learn about scenes. Now scenes is a big integral part of storytelling in Scratch Junior. Now a typical activity what you create normally has one background and you know one set of characters but what scenes lets you do is keep having different characters and different backgrounds and different coding scheme in each of them so likewise this activity has all the weather weathers we have like summer fall winter spring uh, you know mentioned here so I click on play to show you how it works so that's summer that's fall or that's winter and then it ends with spring so let's learn how do we create it so we click on the home button uh, create new activity select a nice background uh, like uh, we will start with probably summer so if you see on the top there is an ABC icon there so just click on that type summer and give it a white color and what we'll do is we'll let the cat do some movements here so that the cat stays on this for some time before it goes to a difference you know uh, you know weather so now click on the right on the on the on the right side you'll see a plus button there again right below the summer scene so that is actually adding one more scene so here if I click see it gives you scene 2 and here probably we can take winter so we'll do just uh, we click on winter so and here also again we'll write text So that <clears throat> whoever is coming on the screen actually can make out okay fine this is a winter scene so here again we let cat do some uh, kind of a, a movement here so that it stays on the screen for some more time and probably we take a third scene now click on the right hand side again and this time probably we can take spring okay let's take oh, okay. my default I select so we take spring and we again go on the, the text icon there click on it and type spring and let the cat do some more actions here so probably this time Okay, and then end it now there's one more important thing you need to do before you start or uh, the playing the activity is how do you actually connect one scene to another scene so right now see you haven't so if you click on play so it doesn't move to scene 2 and 3 because we've not connected it right so a very simple option go on scene 1 and as soon as you go on scene one you have this end block now you see there are two icons you're seeing scene two scene three so what I want to do is after one I want to straight go on scene two and what I'll do is I will just not let it go immediately I'll give it a wait time of five scratch blocks okay it's not five seconds it, it's like the five scratch block times so and similarly I go on scene 2 I will do the same activity so here in scene 2 I will select scene 3 and don't forget to add some time here and scene 3 as it is I'm just giving the end block because I don't want it to loop to scene 1 I mean ideally if you want it to loop to scene 1 again here you could just select scene 1 instead of the end 
So now let's see, let's play and see what happens. So that summer waits, goes on winter, then goes on spring. Right? Wasn't that easy? Right? So that was learning about scenes. Now we'll see one more kind of scenes what I have created is when you let a person go on a scene by making a choice. Now earlier when we created this particular activity by default it goes from 1, 2 and 3. But what if I had two choices on scene 1 itself and then clicking on one of the choice it takes me to a X scene and if I click on a Y choice it takes me to a Y scene. So to understand we go on this activity what I had created. Now, now that's an activity if you see on the right hand side there are three screens. Uh, in this act in this first scene you have one boy and a girl left and the right so that it starts with the teacher asking the you know the class the boy and a girl what do you want to do do you want to play or study so let's see what happens so she's asking what do you want to do so the boy says I want to play the girl says I want to study so now when I click on boy see what happens so you see they come on the play screen directly and out here if I click on girl again it takes me to a library where they are studying right did you get it so now how different is this from the other activity is out here you are actually letting the user decide which screen he wants to go on depending on his choices one of the other good example given here is uh, in the help activities is when you go on the friends activity this itself also shows you so the girl is asking party or soccer so if you click on the girl so you get party and if you click on uh, the girl with the cake if you click on the girl with the football it takes you to the playground right so let's learn how do you create scenes by selecting uh, you know different scenes by selecting uh, a choice on the screen so what we'll do is uh, we will delete the cat create a new activity uh, we go on the classroom background we select three characters here so we'll take one boy we can stand here we take one girl and uh, we'll have a class teacher okay now we'll start with a class teacher asking a question so we'll go on looks icon we'll first put the green flag we'll go on the looks icon it's a purple icon and type children do you want to play or study and we click on the end block and then we go on the child the boy and we do the same thing but out here what we'll do is we'll have two blocks okay I'll explain you what I mean by two blocks this is something new we are doing uh, wherein I'll start with the green flag and I will have the looks icon and I'll type so he wants to play so here I will write I want to play and I end this block but the thing is now when I okay let's do it uh, for the okay now when I play it see what happens is both of them come together like the teachers question and the students answers coming instantly together so what I'll do is I will add a weight we did it in the in the earlier activity weight 
so what wait will do is it will wait for five scratch uh, junior blocks uh, so that it looks like the teacher is asking the question and the student is answering it and I will come back to the, the boy again because we need to do something else here so we'll come back to it now I go on the girl I do the same activity I'll go on the looks and here she says I want to study and we add the weight icon here five scratch blocks so that and we put n so that now when you play it so this is not complete yet so now when you play it you see first the teacher is asking and probably if you increase the wait time to 10 scratch blocks also that will be good because then it will really look like the you know so I will just increase the time to 10 blocks so now when I play it you see okay so now let's create two scenes one scene of playing and one scene of studying so quickly I click on the right hand side so here I again delete the cat I will put a play so we'll put a gym here and we'll add the boy and girl here so that it appears like they are playing so here okay and we'll add one ball here so that and we'll have the ball bounce so that it indicates that okay both of them are playing so let's give an action to the ball here where it's jumping okay and uh, let's give it a repeat here so that we have it like it's jumping five times four times okay and we end this block and let's write with the text playing here okay so that's your playing scene and now add third scene which is the study scene so here probably we'll put a, a library picture again pull out the boy and girl here and the boy And in this one, I'll just add text of studying. Okay, so that completes our scene. Now, we go back all the three scenes. So we've got the first scene where in the classroom, the second scene is playing, the third is studying. Now, the most important coding aspect here is, is what we want to do is, when we click on the boy, it should take us to scene two that is playing. And when we click on the girl, it should take us to scene three which is studying so in earlier episodes uh, in the tutorials what I had created I had shown you in the yellow trigger block start on tap so we are in the boy here we go on start on tap and out here I will select when I tap on the boy it should take me to scene two okay I hope you're getting you can give weight here if needed even if you don't give it it's fine so I'll still go ahead with weight so that it doesn't look like the scene is changing instantly it'll take like a, a very small amount of time to move to the next scene and when I click on the girl if, if you see I again click on start on tap and out here I will select scene 3 again give it a wait time of 5 right so now if you see the girl and the boy both have two blocks one block is this one which gets executed when you click on the green flag okay and this one gets executed when you click on the boy so on the same character you can have different blocks here which get executed so now when I play the activity by pressing on the green, it should, teacher is asking you to play. The boy says I want to play. The girl says I want to study. So when you click on the boy, 
it takes you to the playing scene cool and now when you click on the girl it takes you to studying scene now if you see it takes some amount of time when you move from one screen to another screen so that's a good programming practice because uh, it's not shifting to the screen instantly so that was about scenes it's the most important aspect don't forget 